we go. Here we go. It's we're running behind schedule a little bit for when I wanted to get down to the Rio, but it's game day. It's go day. It's uh, World Series of Poker. It's uh, the Big 500, the reunion. No limit hold'em right now. Starting. Uh, let's see. Starts at 45 minutes. Wanted to get down there so I could uh, walk around, relax a little bit. Um, get some video for you guys. We'll get some video anyway. Uh, I don't know if I can shoot much video during the tournament. Probably not. But there's a lot of breaks. And uh, if I have to get up to run to the restroom and do a break, I'll, I'll do some video, see what's going on, see how big the crowds are. Should be fun. Should be good. Um, I'll probably do my usual tradition. Uh, run to the bar and uh, down a quick uh, beer. Get the nerves under, uh, under control. Because there's always a lot of anticipation, excitement, hype, nerves before these tournaments. Unless you're a pro and you play them every day. You know, or not every day, but if you play them all the time, it's no big deal. I play these things once a year. And so, yeah, how, how steady are we? Let's see. No, see, not very steady. Hands already twitching. Man, got to get things under control here. Well, if they try to use that as a read, it's not going to work because it doesn't matter if I have a good hand or a bad hand. My hand will probably be twitching from uh, from nerves. So, but after I get that beer in me, I'll be good to go. Um, and uh, yeah, the, st the strategy I think is just going to be maybe the first couple of levels observation mode, take in the table, see what my table's like, see what's going on, how many uh, how many aggressive players are at the table, stealing uh, chips. How many players are tight? How many players are folding too much? How many players are raising too much? How many are calling too much? All that good stuff. That's the biggest game. That's the biggest part of poker is, is seeing what the other players are doing, thinking about it in your mind while you're not in the hand because you don't want to just be sitting there zoning out. You want to be uh, trying to think of a proper strategy based on the players that are at your table. You know, if they're folding too much, then you need to start raising some more with uh, with junk hands. Any any two cards, basically, if, if you're in the right position. Um, if they're raising a lot and you're behind them, it's good because you can wait to see what they're going to do. And then you can you can raise it up once in a while when you have a good starting hand. So, you know, it's all fun, though. You just got to have fun. With so many people in this event, there's going to be thousands of people in the event. So you got to have, um, you got to expect to do good. You got to want to do good and be confident that you're going to do good, but you got to have fun at the same time. If you overthink things, if you go in there and you're tense, if you're too tense and you're thinking so hard that you're driving yourself nuts, what do I do? What's this guy? What's that? You got to relax to a certain degree and let your subconscious take over some of your play uh, and just work things out in the background and then, and then say, feels like this is what I should do. And think a little bit about it logically and combine that with what your feel is and I think combining those two, that's my strategy. In 1,000 feet, use the right lane to turn right on South Valley View Boulevard. We're getting down here. We're about five minutes away from the Rio. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, just got to relax last night. Is this our turn? There's a big, huge truck in front of me. I can't even see if this is my turn. I think it is. This is my turn. All right, guys. Um, I'll turn click right the camera on back South on as Valley we walk View into the Boulevard. Rio. Good luck to us, let's go.
It is 5 p.m. We started at 10 a.m. So what is that? Eight hours in? Seven hours? Seven hours in. After a couple of breaks, after a 30-minute break, which barely gave me enough time to run all the way to my car, parked way too far away, um, drink a couple bottled waters and run and a granola bar, and then run back to uh, the table to play. We had a couple 30-minute breaks. Um, I went back in on a short stack. And I mean a short stack. And uh, it come, folds around to me on the button. I've got the King Five of Hearts. I've literally only got four big blinds, which means four bets if you don't play poker very much. Very, very few chips. I had, I had 20,000 in tournament chips. And the big bet, the big blind was 5,000. So it was time to make a move. So everybody folded around to me. I go all in with the King Five of Hearts. And the flop is... Um, like an eight five uh, seven or something like that, and the other guy had already called me, um, so it's me against one other guy. He had ten eight offsuit, so he's got a pair of eights. He's winning, but there's two hearts on the flop. So I've got king five of hearts, turn no king and no heart. I just need a heart or a king to come out. Come on now, river card was nothing. No heart, no king. I'm out of the tournament. That's right. This shirt didn't work. I expected to win some money, not necessarily first place, but I did expect to win something. Expected to do better, but um, shirt sure didn't work. I'm not kidding when I tell you this, but you guys won't believe me. The entire seven hours of poker play, I've never seen anything like it. Okay, one time I got dealt pocket kings, one time. Never got aces, never got queens, never got jacks, never got tens dealt to me in seven hours of poker, never got ace king. I'm not kidding. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Um, I never made two pair when I did play a hand and the flop came out. Never made two pair or a set, three of a kind. It sounds impossible, but trust me, it just happened for the first time. I've never seen anything like it. And I hate it when people complain about the cards, but it was funny. Um, to a point of being ridiculous. Had to be a world record. You can't do anything about it. You are crippled as the blinds are eating up your stack. And you're trying to bluff once in a while, sure, when the, when it comes around to you and you raise. But when you get re-raised and you have jack-5 offsuit so many times or 8-4 offsuit, it's hard to call a decently big raise when they do that to you. Um, pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Not very fun. A very grindy day. Uh, there was one fun hand, though. I had ace-10 of clubs, one of the best hands I got dealt all day. Um, a guy had raised it, and I said, I'm feeling a little bit um, aggressive here. I'm going to re-raise it. He raised it 3,000. I made it 7,000. He called. He was a really aggressive player. And the flop came ace, deuce, five, uh, rainbow suits, nothing there. And um, I said, well, I got top pair. I have some value here. I'm just I'm going to, you know, this guy could easily have ace jack, um, ace queen, ace king. He might have nothing. He might have flopped something big. I don't know. So I'm just going to. I'm going to risk the minimum and try to win. I think I'm ahead. I have the best hand, but I didn't want to risk betting too much. So I checked. He bet. I called. Nothing scary comes out. Same thing happens um, 
again on the turn in the river. I check, he bets, I call. On the river, he made kind of a big bet, but this is his pattern all day. He's been betting big. He bet 10,000, I called that off. It turns out all he had was two diamonds and the turn and the river were diamonds. There was one diamond on the flop, so he did make the flush, won a big pot off me there. That was early in the day though, when I actually got to play some poker. Unlike the last four hours where I, I basically folded uh, or tried to steal bluff every single time for the last four hours. Never made a hand. Never won a hand in the last four hours. Just nursed a stack of, of uh, about 50,000 chips all the way down to 20,000. Um, I mean, I picked up the blinds here and there when I could try to steal, but my cards were just a joke. So That's the way it is. That's poker. That's the game. You have to accept it. If you're going to play poker... You're going to have some ridiculously bad luck, but the opposite can happen too. You can go on a hot run. You can just, I've done it before, where I just won solid for like three hours all the way to the final table. Here I am, boom, at the final table. Never at the World Series of Poker, though. Um, over here, I don't seem to run good at all. I run terrible. So we're going to give it another try. It's probably in about two or three weeks. i got to look at the schedule again. Back to the grind. No life of luxury yet. So back to the grind, but... um. I'm going to play probably either like a Pot Limit Omaha. might be fun. It's a different game instead of Hold'em. Play a Pot Limit Omaha tournament, maybe. There's one that's like 600 bucks to buy in, so we might play that one. Um, there's also the Colossus, which is $400 to buy in, so that is another No Limit Hold'em tournament. Um, the good news is there's a 0% chance I can run this bad again. I might get knocked out right away. You know, I might get what's bad beat where you get like three kings and someone hits three aces or a flush or a straight and you're out of the tournament early. I mean, I'm fine with that more than just getting ground up for seven hours. That's painful. I'd rather have some action and, and uh, have a chance to win a big pot. We had no chance today. We had no chance. But, okay, it was fun to be in the tournament. It was a big tournament. Um, is a big tournament. Still going, just uh, without me in there. So, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Um, the struggle continues. The pain continues. So, keep doing what I'm doing play some more poker tournaments hopefully play a couple more one or two more world series of poker tournaments and then um just keep grinding thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon